What's up guys, Armadize here and I'm back for another video for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your start menu on Windows 10. So in a couple of my YouTube videos you guys saw my start menu and it looked kind of like this. As you can see it's all very nicely, neatly put together. All the icons look really nice. And some of you might be wondering how did you put the icons like that because you can't just put on icons on like stock windows. If I have these, I have a couple of programs pinned, this is just for this video. And if I have a folder right here, if I right click, there's no option to set an icon like right here. Or if I pin a program, there's no option either. So how did I change it? Well, I changed it with using this program called Tile Iconifier. So I'm just going to open it right here. And I have two of them, them open right here. So I'm going to oh, close them. Uh, so right here you can see all of my programs listed. By the way, I'll have the link to the, uh, for the download link for this program in the description. I also want to say that I know there are other programs to customize your start menu, but I find that this one is very simple to use, and I just really like it because it has quite a bit, quite a lot of customization options. Okay, so right here I have the list of all of my programs, as you can see. And if I go down right here, I have uh, WinRAR. Uh, so is it custom? No. Is it iconified? No. Is it pinned? Yes, because I pinned it right here. So let me show you guys how to use it. So if you say I pin WinRAR, so here you go. If I double click right here, I can choose the icon or the image. So what I usually do is I just get an image of Google. So what I usually write will be like something like WinRAR thumbnail and usually it'll get something like this. Preferably you want a white background so you can just type WinRAR logo PNG and usually we'll get something like this, the one that has those checkerboards. So that, that means that it has a background that's transparent. So I'm just gonna put it on my desktop right here. You can't see it because I have disabled my icons, but you do that. Okay guys, so what you're gonna do is gonna double click right here and this is gonna open up this menu. From here you can basically go to where you saved your image. I saved it here. I click open and click OK. Oh sorry, I need to select it right here. And right now it will look like this. If I click tile iconify my WinRAR image will change here and as you can see it looks like this which already it looks neater. Now you can even customize this even further by uh, disabling the foreground text which is just a little uh, text right here. So if I do that and the text is going to disappear. Check that out. It's now a clean icon. Now for these you can also change the background. So as you can see the background is this light gray. Now if I want I can change the background. I can either pick something from any other color on my wallpaper. Say I want to pick this um, Let's see, something like dark. Okay, so this is kind of dark. I like this better. And I click Talaconify again. As you can see, it's going to change to this darker color, which actually matches better with my icons, but I have a specific color for these as well. Right, so that's pretty simple. So that, uh, that's how you can change. Now, you can also make custom, um, custom shortcuts. So you can go to Utilities and go to Custom Shortcut Manager. And right here I have my own custom shortcuts, but you can create new shortcuts. And this is how you will make folder icons, because you can't just uh, pin on a folder like I did right here called JavaScript. I can't just change it to the menu. I have to make a custom shortcut, otherwise it won't work. So this is kind of a little quirk with this program. You can't just change folders like that. You have to create a folder shortcut. So you can click on this new, and I'm going to select custom folder, and I'm going to click browse, say I want to make a custom folder here, let's see, uh, client projects, okay, so I'm going to make a client projects folder and have to name it, so I'm just going to client projects, you can change the icon from here as well, so you're going to do the same thing, just go through everything, and again, pictures, I can make the same one right here, click OK, and I'm going to have client projects with this icon, so I'm just going to generate the shortcut right now, and it's gonna, uh, it's gonna, and as you can see, it it's not right in here. What? Like, where is it? Right? Now you can see that this little one on your all apps. So you're gonna have to scroll down here, go all the way down, and right here you're gonna have a folder named Tile Iconify, and this is where you're gonna have your uh, all of your sh custom shortcuts. So right here I have Client Projects. Gonna pin it to start, and here I got it. Uh, this is my little sh shortcut made. A custom folder. So if I open it, it's going to open the folder. So that's how you change icons of folders. It's not just a straight away like 
uh, you know, you just go through here. There are no folders right here, so you have to make a custom. But once you have it, if I type in a filter, Clion Projects is going to have it. And as you can see, is it custom? Yes. Is that codified? Yes. Is it pin? Yes. So this is how I changed like uh, all of my icons. Hope you guys found this video helpful. I know that, I, uh, you know, Microsoft is implementing new features into Windows every day. And I hope they change this, uh, they add this feature where we don't have to use programs like these. I have nothing against it, I mean, but it would be nice to have it natively. Um, so that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any pro questions, you can put them down below. And have fun customizing your start menu. It's really fun. It's actually, I've spent quite a lot of time just perfecting the start menu. So I know it's not perfect, but I kind of like it. Anyway, guys, uh, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and catch you later.